In this tutorial, we will be taking a closer look at two components of the OpenOffice.org Office Suite, that is OpenOffice.org Writer and OpenOffice.org Calc, which are the word processor and the spreadsheet applications, respectively. OpenOffice.org is a free, full-featured Office Suite, very similar to Microsoft Office. It was provided to the open source community by Sun Microsystems, which sells a commercial version called StarOffice. But OpenOffice.org has been an excellent contribution to the open source community and is used by governments and businesses and educational institutions all around the world by the thousands. It has excellent document conversion abilities to import Microsoft Word documents and Excel spreadsheets. OpenOffice.org is found in the Applications menu and in the Office submenu. Uh, there's the Evolution Email Client, and then there are four components of OpenOffice.org, the database, the presentation, the spreadsheet program, and the word processor. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the last two applications, the spreadsheet and the word processor. The OpenOffice.org word processor, also called OpenOffice.org Writer, when first run, it, uh, it may present a dialog box asking one whether or not to select a certain template, but creating a blank document is a, is a it's a simple way to get into OpenOffice.org Writer the first time. And as you can see, it has a very common uh, looking interface. It looks really just like any other word processor. It has a, a menu bar at the top with the following menus, File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Table, Tools, Window, and Help. It also has an icon bar with some of the shortcuts to some of the commands. And it also has a, a bar where one can select the style and the font and the justification and things like that. It's very similar to many other office suites. There are also icons here on the far right hand side with two little arrows that show that this particular bar continues and that there are additional ones kind of hidden from view. Clicking on this link shows you these additional items, and clicking it again hides that. So depending on one's screen resolution, some of these buttons may be hidden from view. There's also a ruler along the top with the margins represented by two by an hourglass shaped uh, icon, which is really two arrows because this can be moved. The top half or the bottom half can be moved to create indentation and the like. And it also, this ruler bar also shows the tab stops represented by these little T intersection looking icons at the very bottom. It also has a ruler along the side and a status bar here in the bottom to explain what page one is on, the, the type of style, default in this case, the font, uh, the, the type, the mode, insert, or type over, and things along those lines. And one can simply scroll down to get down to the bottom of the page, and it's, it's very straightforward. Simply clicking in the box presents the icon and allows one to begin typing uh, on the page. And it works just like most other word processors. Uh, one can, can highlight a few words, maybe change the font size on just those words. For example, uh, one can, can sort of triple click or select the entire sentence and change the justification by centering it. Uh, there's, there's lots of, there's lots of things that can be done. It's very easy to change the font style. And of course, adding new fonts will enable those fonts in this menu. There's lots of things that can be done. Uh, here with OpenOffice.org Writer. 